Today we're in Boron. We're at West Boron Elementary School, home of the Jackrabbits, and today we're here to... Well, today we're at West Boron Elementary. We've got some sixth grade students that are a little nervous right now, but we all are early in the morning because they're anticipating what's going to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way back, you guys, back to, I think you said, Sebastian, before kindergarten, correct? Which is where we learned our shapes. So Libby, you're the one closest to me. You're the chosen one. Come on up. Why don't you grab a marker, any color you like, and draw a simple shape. So, what are some basic shapes that you learned when you were in kindergarten? A circle. A circle. So go ahead and draw a circle for me. All right. What is another shape? And if you need help, you've got some folks over there that can help you out. Okay. Um, a triangle. A triangle. All right. So go ahead and put a triangle up there. Now, being in sixth grade, there are different types of triangles. Do you know some of the different types of triangles right now? Really. And you can always ask for help if you need. Do you guys know any different types of triangles? An acute triangle. An acute triangle. What makes a triangle an acute triangle? And it has like an angle to it. Okay, so they like have not angles. Not like a flat angle, but a slanted angle. Like that. It's really small, like very compact, like yeah. like that. So when you say small, compact, how can we better describe that in, as far as geometric terms? So an acute triangle would have an angle less than 90 degrees. Perfect. Less than 90 degrees. So there we go. So we've got acute triangles, we've got equilateral triangles, obtuse triangles, all sorts of things like that. All right. What about another shape? Well, let's get off the triangle thing. Square. Square. There you go. So those are three basic shapes. All right. Nicely done, Libby. Thanks for that. You can come on back over and have a seat. So what you guys are going to do is you're going to go back and you're going to think about how to describe shapes and where they are. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a picture and you're going to look at it and then you're going to have to write down the description of it. Does that make sense to you guys? Okay, so here's a practice thing for you. All right. If I, if I had this... and you wanted somebody else to draw that, what is the first thing you would have them draw? What would you have them draw? A square. Okay, so you might say, draw a square. All right, now somebody draws a square, okay? Should the square, could it look like this? No, because that's now a rectangle, isn't it? Okay, so you want to be descriptive. All right, so you would first say, draw a square. Then what could you say? Because remember, a person can't see this. They're only going based on what you write. Then draw a triangle off of the side of the square. Okay, so if I did this, I draw a square and then I draw a triangle off to the side of the square. Could it look like that? We don't want it to look like that, but if you simply say draw a square and draw a triangle off to the side of the square, you see how I could do that? But how would we make it look like this? How could you better describe it so that this would be what came out of the person drawing it? Draw a triangle on the square. Draw a triangle? On the square. On the square. Does that make sense? Because I drew a triangle on the square, right? How else could we do it where we get it to look like this? Draw a triangle on the left side of the square and walk it up. So, come on up and so grab a marker. So, draw a triangle on the left side of the square. Yes. And what were the last words you had? While combining it. While combining it. Okay. So. So, while combining it. Do you think anybody else might come up with some different drawing 
they might come up with a different drawing, right? So you want to think about how exactly can you say that? Draw a square, right, with a triangle on the left side combining it. Would that be combining them? It could be, right? And it's getting closer to what we want, but that's what I want you guys to do. So you're trying to think of, all right, I've got some shapes, and I want to describe them so that somebody will draw exactly what I'm looking at. And when we come back, we'll see how the kids do with this exercise.